Maintaining the health of your Ford's engine is crucial, and one of the key components of your engine is its water pump. This video will walk you through the steps to change a Ford water pump. The general steps of the process are essentially the same, regardless of what Ford, car, truck, or SUV you own. In addition to a new Ford OEM water pump and gaskets, you'll need the following tools. Sockets and wrenches, a drain pan, screwdrivers, coolant, a torque wrench, a belt tensioner tool, a putty knife or scraper tool, a rubber mallet, and safety equipment like gloves and safety goggles. To get started, park your vehicle on a level surface. Engage the parking brake and disconnect the battery. Next, drain the coolant. Place a drain pan under the radiator, open the drain valve, and allow the coolant to empty. Then remove the serpentine belt. Use the belt tensioner tool to relieve tension and remove the belt from the water pump pulley. Then carefully disconnect the hoses attached to the water pump. Remove the bolts holding the water pump using the appropriate socket. Keep track of the bolts and their placement, as they may be of differing lengths. Gently pry the water pump away from the engine block. A few tacks with a rubber mallet may help if it's stuck. Ensure the mounting surface on the engine block is clean and free of any old gasket material. You may need to use a scraper or putty knife if necessary. Now it's time to install the new water pump. Carefully place the new water pump onto the engine block. If the water pump assembly also includes a thermostat housing, consider replacing the thermostat with a new OEM part before reinstalling your new pump. Insert and tighten the bolts by hand to ensure proper alignment. Then use a torque wrench to tighten them to the manufacturer's specifications. Attach the hoses to the new water pump and secure them with clamps. Finally, use the belt tensioner tool to reinstall the drive belt onto the water pump pulley and refill the coolant. Close the radiator drain valve and refill the cooling system with the recommended type and amount of coolant. Now you're ready to reconnect the battery and start the engine. Let it run and check for any leaks around the water pump and hoses. Keep an eye on the engine temperature gauge to ensure it's operating within the normal ranges. For more details on how to replace your Ford water pump, visit bluespringsfordparts.com at the link in the description below.